Uh, for those of you who are wondering what exactly is Rockefeller University, let me briefly uh, tell you a few things about us. Uh, we've been here uh, on these 14 acres on the Upper East Side since our founding in 1901 when this hillside uh, was farmland. Uh, we're a biomedical research institute and graduate school for doctoral candidates only. We're organized around 77 laboratories, uh, each headed by a scientist who reports directly to the president. And the work underway in our labs touches on almost every disease or health condition you can think of. By many metrics, uh, Rockefeller University uh, is the number one graduate biomedical research university in the world. One impressive fact, among others, is that over the years, 24 Rockefeller faculty members have received the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Chemistry uh, more than any other institution in the world. Rockefeller is known particularly for transformative research in bioscience, but with the work we're launching today, we'll transform, transform something much more concrete, a four-block section of the East River waterfront. Before I go into the details of the work to be done, I want to emphasize that the planning around this project has been a collaborative effort involving Community Board 8, Congresswoman Maloney, Council Member Ben Kalos, the Parks Department, Borough President Gail Brewer, and the Friends of the East River Esplanade, a remarkable grassroots conservancy group dedicated uh, to the improvement of the Esplanade. We're grateful for the creative ideas that, that they and other members of the community have contributed and for the collaborative spirit in which they've approached the project. I'd especially like to recognize Jesse Marcelin, the new executive director of the Friends of the East River Esplanade, who's here with us today, uh, as well as Jennifer Ratner, uh, the organization's founder. Thank you for your advocacy and leadership in the ongoing development of this great park. Now, Rockefeller has worked closely with the Friends of the East River Esplanade over the past uh, two years uh, through two of our staff members, Tim O'Connor and Amanda Pittman, who are now part of the organization's board. Under the Friends' stewardship, we look forward to seeing many more improvements to the Esplanade in the future. Over the years, New Yorkers have watched the shorelines of Brooklyn and the west side of Manhattan transform with the creation of beautiful waterfront parks that together form our greenways. We believe that the Esplanade has the same potential and should be a destination for all New Yorkers, joggers, walkers, bikers, and just those seeking a peaceful escape. The vision for the Esplanade that we've developed with our partners calls for improvements not just to its skin, but also to its foundation. Work is already underway on critical repairs to the seawall that supports the Esplanade. The materials we've distributed this morning uh, show just how badly deteriorated portions of the seawall have become. I love Manhattan. The rebuilt Esplanade will include a noise barrier, crucially, that will dramatically reduce the impact of vehicular traffic, as well as irrigation uh, that will make it possible to provide beautiful landscaping. It will also include new pavers, new seating, and new lighting. Rockefeller has also created a $1 million endowment to ensure that there is funding in place to maintain the landscaping of this section of the Esplanade in perpetuity. Making this project a reality has been a team effort. Uh, the reconstruction project is an excellent example of a successful partnership between the public, private, and not-for-profit sectors. By working together, we've developed a project that advances science for the benefit of humanity and simultaneously enhances our city's waterfront. We're fortunate that our, to have our city council member here, as well as our borough parks uh, commissioner and representative from uh, Congresswoman Maloney's office and the borough president's office, all of whom I know would like to say a few words. Uh, and so now it's my pleasure to start uh, by introducing uh, council member Ben Kalos, uh, it's hard to believe uh, that just two years ago, Councilmember Kalos, Tim O'Connor, and I sat down over coffee to figure out a way to make this project a win-win for the community and Rockefeller. Over the past two years, he's been, an incredibly, he's been incredibly generous with his time and his insight, for which we are grateful. Thank you, Councilmember Kalos. Good afternoon. It's amazing to be celebrating something two years in the making. Uh, Councilmember Ben Kalos, and uh, as soon as I got elected, uh, our Congress member, Carol Maloney, pulled me aside and she said, you know, one of the most important things we have here is our parks, and we have an East River Esplanade Task Force, which I'm asking you to co-chair with me, 
and we need to do everything we can to make sure that we reinvest in it and reinvigorate the Esplanade. And I've taken those marching orders and we've worked together on uh, this with a, a strong focus and I'm just so grateful to our Congresswoman for her partnership, leadership and guidance on this. And so as that conversation happened, we learned that Rockefeller was interested in expanding their campus and something to think about here is just how lucky we are to have Rockefeller University here since 1901. So many Nobel laureates here in our community, in Manhattan, in our city, trying to cure diseases and very importantly, driving economic revenue, inventing, coming up with the next great vaccine that will save so many people. And so it's just so lucky to have them here and uh, working with them on their expansion. And in meeting with President Mark Tessier Levine, I was able to talk to him a little bit about what we see. And I think uh, for those watching and here, uh, there are a lot of things we can do to improve this part of our Greenway. And there have been significant investments on the west side in Brooklyn, but somehow the East River Esplanade fell a little bit behind and started to need some attention. And Rockefeller University really understood what the community's concerns were, and we were able to have ongoing conversations and work together through the community board process to hear their concerns and make sure that they had a meaningful role in the process, far more than the regular advisory role, but more of an actual strong role in determining what the Esplanade would look like involved with community visioning sessions. And uh, the height of the noise barriers is actually higher as a result of the work that we did at the community boards. And then working with our Manhattan Borough President, Gail Brewer, who was incredibly supportive throughout the process of both the community board, myself, and Rockefeller University. Uh, we were able to come together on terms that would really benefit the community. And uh, we're seeing some of that today with an investment of $8 million in the seawall, which was literally falling into the river. And pictured next to me what will be our new Esplanade, where we'll actually have parks, seating, irrigation, plants that won't just be planted and then die uh, without the water that they need. And they were the first to step up to the plate in this public-private partnership that we proposed. And that means a lot because so much has happened since then. Uh, we've been able to really work together to get a uh, grassroots conservancy off the ground. It's become professionalized with an investment that we agreed upon to really bring on professional staffing and an executive director who I'm very excited to be working with and hoping that we can raise as much money here as we see in Central Park or anywhere else because this is a place like no other and location, location, location. So hoping we can continue to do that. And then another piece which was unprecedented, which is all too often we see people make an improvement once and then walk away and then the improvement falls apart and then somebody else has to come by and often it's the taxpayers. But Rockefeller University agreed to take care of this in perpetuity and they set aside a million dollar trust. Um, and so it's amazing to be able to say not only are we building this now, but we're building this for future generations and this will be a green space forever. So thank you very much for your leadership and uh, for making this a reality. Thank you very much, Councilmember Kalos, and now we'll hear from Commissioner Castro. Uh, I want to uh, express the appreciation of uh, Commissioner uh, Parks Commissioner Mitchell Silver, who could not be here today, but he asked me to convey his his real gratitude uh, to Councilman Kalos and to President Mark Tessier Levine for the real leadership that they have shown, uh, as the councilman said, to initiate improvements, to step forward, as Rockefeller University has done, working with the councilman. 
to recognize a very important resource. And, and in New York City, those of us who have been here for some time, one of the great challenges in New York City over the years has been to actually get to our waterfront and to, to not just appreciate it uh, as we go by, and Robert Moses did many wonderful things, but uh, unfortunately he did build a barrier between the people and, and, and the water, um, and this is something we've had to overcome. And this is a tremendous step in achieving a desire that a lot of people have had and professional planners have had over the years. And now, as the councilman said, not just to enhance through construction and design, but to care for it and maintain it over the years. And that's something that doesn't often happen, uh, and it's something that's badly needed and very much appreciated. Um, the coming improvements to the Esplanade, uh, some of which are already underway, uh, include something I'm very excited about, a shared bike and pedestrian path design. Very important. Often there are conflicts, and it's very important to have something designed in so that bikers know where to go and, and pedestrians know where to go and so we can work together. And these wonderful new paving and plantings that are really, as the councilman said, gonna, gonna make it into more of a park feel. And that's uh, critical to this. If you look to the south, you can see some of the things that this administration is doing. Uh, the, uh, where that orange uh, superstructure is, uh, there's a project underway right now and I wanna thank Borough President Gail Brewer uh, and the councilman for funding that. Um, that's moving forward, started a few months ago, and, and in another year or so, the second phase will begin as sort of an anchor for this as we continue along uh, the great things that Rockefeller University is doing for the community. Um, and then we will be going forward north of here under funds from Mayor de Blasio to renovate and, and uh, fix the uh, seawall, very important. And then we'll be working again um, with the councilman and the speaker and, and the, uh, the mayor and the community and this, this wonderful uh, conservancy group that has been formed thanks to uh, Councilman Kalos and Rockefeller University. There is nothing you can't do when people roll up their sleeves and come together and when officials and institutional leaders uh, step forward and, and demonstrate leadership. Leadership is what it's all about and getting people together that's what makes it happen, and we want to thank you all very much for this. Thank you. Well, thank you, Commissioner Castro, and now we'll hear from Mina Elias, uh, who is here on behalf of Congresswoman Maloney. Good afternoon. Uh, Congresswoman Maloney wishes that she could be here because this is really a fulfillment of a dream. Uh, she's in Washington where they're trying to pass a measure to keep the government open and hopefully to pass the James Adroga Act, which is actually going to happen next week. So that's, that's the important stuff she's working on. But one of the things that's incredibly close to her heart is this Esplanade. And several years ago, she formed a, a partnership with the then city councilwoman to create a task force to look at this esplanade uh, from 60th Street all the way up. Um, because for a long time, it was assumed that the east side had its esplanade, that, this, uh, that nothing more needed to be done. And meanwhile, the Esplanade slowly started to fall into the East River. Uh, the damage is extraordinary. Um, the plantings were neglected, and the pavings were uneven and uh, in not really capable of supporting the, the structure. So over time, they've looked at the situation here on the East Side, and we are starting to get the Esplanade that we really want and we deserve. And Rockefeller University, under the leadership of Mark Tessier Levine, is an incredibly important piece of that. Um, Councilman Ben Kalos has done an extraordinary job of working with Rockefeller University, of working with the community board, of working with Friends of the Upper East, uh, Friends of the East Side Esplanade, to make sure that we get a new section of the Esplanade that will be different and better and uh, more user friendly than what we've had before. Um, what we're going to get is something where the noise from the highway is not going to overwhelm us as it is today, where we're going to have incredible plantings um, and really great beauty. 
Rockefeller University has been known for its extraordinary research and uh, all that it has done uh, for curing disease, but now it's going to really help us with our mental health and bring joy to people on the Upper East Side. So thank you very much on behalf of Congresswoman Warren. Thank you so much. And now we will hear from Deputy Borough President Matthew Washington. Thank you very much, and congratulations to uh, President Tessier Levine, uh, certainly Councilmember Ben Kalos, the Parks Department, Congresswoman Maloney. This is a wonderful project. And just a, a quick note. Within the past 90 minutes, I've been bi-coastal. Uh, right before coming here, I was on the west side uh, ribbon, doing a ribbon cutting for the Spring Street garage that the Department of Sanitation was opening, and I was looking out on the Hudson River and uh, Hudson River Park, and I said, I'm going to the east side where we're going to have, thanks to Rockefeller University and the partnership, an even better waterfront than the west side. Uh, so we're going to continue to push forward. It's such an incredible opportunity uh, to bring government, elected officials, the private sector uh, together to do a project like this. Commissioner Castro will tell you that the Parks Department has an incredibly difficult job. They have a lot of land, uh, not, not a lot of resources, uh, and so Commissioner Castro and some of the others at the Parks Department uh, I see some who are working here. My good buddy Michael Bradley uh, is here, but to have a partnership where an institution says we will build it, we will also take care of it, uh, must help Commissioner Castro and the rest of the Parks Department sleep well at night. And this is just such an incredible testament uh, to the partnership that has been built. Uh, and I can't speak enough about the advocacy of Councilmember Ben Kalos, who talks about the waterfront constantly. Uh, who talks about the need to invest in making sure that we have good spaces for the residents of our great borough of Manhattan. Uh, and this is very exciting. We are thrilled to be here. Uh, the Manhattan Borough President is sorry she could not join us, uh, but she absolutely loves this project and is very excited about the work that will continue here, uh, certainly uh, in mental health and uh, President uh, Tessier Levine's own work in brain development, uh, which we're excited to have you here, and he's been here for a while now. Uh, but this is a really wonderful project. I'm excited to see it happen, and we can't wait to be here when it opens up and we can access this part of the waterfront again and know that when we step on this area, we're going to be safe and not concerned about falling in. So thank you all for the opportunity. Thank you for this wonderful collaboration. Uh, and let's make sure we not only have a beautiful waterfront, but we use our beautiful waterfront. Thank you very much. Well, thank you uh, so much, Deputy Borough President. Uh, on behalf of the Rockefeller University community, uh, I want to thank all of our partners who are here today uh, for all that you do for the community and also to help us in our work. Uh, and now, uh, I'd like to invite all of our speakers uh, to join me as we put on hard hats and formally break ground on the reconstruction of the East River Esplanade.